Welcome to Southern Adirondack Outdoors. My name is Paul. Today on the mill, we don't have anything yet, but we're going to be putting black cherry on here. We have a well-aged black cherry for a project I got in mind, which hopefully I'll be able to show you that too. But first, we have to get this pile of stickers off that I did a couple days ago. It's going to be in the way. Okay, I got the uh, log on the mill. This is the big end, 16, uh, excuse me, 18 by 20, and the small end, 16 by 20. I wrote my little numbers down on there and then turned the log upside down. And it's about 12 feet long. Black cherry's been around in the pile for about three, four years. Uh, it's been off the ground, but still in a pile, close to the ground. And you see this part here is a little, a little uh, soft. If you go back to the small end of the log, you'll see that it's still solid wood in the middle. It's just this sap wood here that is punky. And I'm gonna be making a little project out of it today. I'm gonna need, let's see, three nine foot four by fours and a bunch of probably a one by mm, sixes or one by fours, probably one by sixes. Hopefully we'll get to that project as well. Well, the wood's looking pretty good. You can tell the difference between the heartwood and the sapwood. And down here on the end, looks like it comes in a foot and a half to two feet. Where you see this darker, uh, darker shade. That's, uh, well, it's not rotted yet, but it's soft. You can see where it's stuck in the scraper there. So, so far, so good. I can get a one by six out of this top piece, so I think I'll go down one more, one inch, and then flip her over. Stand up to you. There we go.
Okay, that'll be another one by six. Actually two, because I only need uh, five foot one by sixes, so I can get two out of here. Stay there. I saw the wee bit of tension in there. It's a good over an inch on that end and a little half inch on this end. This is gonna be a heavy one. Well, maybe not. I'm gonna take off a four inch slab. That should give me enough for my three four by fours. I don't feel like lifting again and drag it down this thing on the end of the deck. And the other end of one at six by six. Hopefully she slides. As you can see, this one's got a little bit of tension in it too, but. Oh, now we're getting to the funkiness. Let me show you that. Oh, you're up there. Okay, that looks like, uh, I'm guessing ants. Could be a grub of some sort, but I don't know. Oh, wait a minute, right there. Tell where you're seeing and I'm seeing. There it is. Yep, some sort of white grub. Yep, and there's his brother. Hmm. The inspectors came over to see how things were going. Or at least. Apparently, uh, maybe it's a sniff test. <laughs> I think we passed inspection, luckily. Now I got it flipped over and made a little score mark there with the saw at six inches. And then I just lifted the saw up an inch and an eighth, inch and an eighth to get to a point where I'm gonna start. It should be about there, which will cut off most of the sapwood. And then I can get some one buys out of the uh, stuff I cut off the top. And once I have it cut down to that six inch mark, I can just stand it up and slice off some one by sixes.
I got the cat turned up and go down and make one by sixes out of it. So it's just gonna be going down, going zing, 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 zing. So I think I'll put it on time lapse. I got quite a few one by sixes out of that. Uh, I didn't count yet. I think in 10. Yeah, three, three, and four. And the ends are pretty bad. I only need to hear 10 foot. So I think I should be get some nice, actually I only need five foot boards, but I can get two out of each one. So I should be able to get some nice uh, lumber out of there. Next up, the four by fours. You'll notice that this can't have quite the curve to it. But I can still use it. Yeah, if I can get it on there. Now at the end of the day, it feels heavier. There we go. Phew. I gotta take about an inch off the top and then two more cuts at four inches each. three four by fours and over there I showed you the one by sixes earlier and these ones the flitches that I cut off I think I'm gonna leave them whole at this point I think I have plenty of one by sixes and they're too nice to chop up for no reason okay you're probably wondering what I'm what am I gonna do with this what's the plan okay the sun I guess is the first plan uh, I'm not gonna tell you yet um, uh, well you'll find out in a minute it'll be tomorrow for me uh, I still got to get, get some tools together and that sort of thing. So we'll see you tomorrow or in a minute. Okay, everybody, it's the next day. Uh, let's see here. Fill you in on what I got my little sawing station set up here. My ancient little Delta uh, miter saw. The reason I'm using that is because the little Honda generator will power it, won't power anything bigger. And so I got all the 4x4s and the 1x5, or excuse me, 1x6s here. So I'll be cutting the 4x4s to 9 foot long and the 1x6s to 5 foot. And I'll probably either time lapse most of that because the uh, generator noise uh, won't come through on camera too well. Uh, so we'll get going. And you may wonder, why is this little log ox thing out here? Well, that's because it makes a great place to clamp you guys on. Worked great for firewood, also worked good as a camera mount. Not sure the saw is going to cut all the way through. It'll cut through a regular 4x4, but these are true 4x4s, so we'll see. Nope, still got a little corner here. That's why I got the handy dandy little saw. Okay. 
And as you can see, it got rid of all the, all the rot and down to solid wood. All right, I think I'm gonna cut everything off camera and bring you guys back for the assembly. Anyway, you probably saw from the time lapse, you probably never guessed what I'm making. Let me give you a look at it. From the end. But what is it for? Yes, it's a big it's a big pallet. And I'll just take you over and show you what it's for. You may be wondering why I have the new Holland today. Well, the Kubota has uh, I saw a little leak underneath the front end. I think it's steering fluid. So that's going to be have to looked at here shortly. What that pallet is for is for a snowmobile. You've probably seen this in the background in some of the videos. And we put it on a pallet to move it around in the summer and move it back to the house uh, come winter time. But it sits over here most of the summer on the pallet. And I think that's the pallet that the sawmill, the LT15, originally came on. So that's what four years ago, four or five years ago. And it's on its last legs. And as you can see, here that uh, track hangs over and the skis hang over and the skis barely fit so that's why i made it a little bigger a little longer so i know it's not a very exciting project but one of those things that we have to do and also shows taking a log making the lumber and putting it into a use in the project looking much better on his new pallet with feet it's much better and this one won't fall apart well anytime soon i guess that's gonna be it for this video please be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you again next time mm -hmm.